Right, hey guys, it's Dylan here. Uh, today we're looking at the Ice Adventure. The Adventure was introduced back in 2010 as Ice's new commuting and touring trike. The Adventure can be configured in many different ways, uh, with base model being a rigid frame and 20 inch wheels all the way around. This one has been configured with full suspension, drum brakes, and the Ergo Lux seat, and a lot of other accessories like high size bottle cage riser, power grip pedals and straps, uh, chain guard, the list goes on. So the Adventure also features a, a high seat height. Uh, it's relatively easy to get in and out of. For heavier riders, the Adventure is available in an HD version. The HD version has a one and a half inch wider and deeper seat, as well as a two inch uh, wider wheel track. The stock tires go from a 1.5 inch to a two inch and the weight capacity goes up from 275 pounds to 330 pounds. Uh, the Adventure also features an incredibly well-designed folding mechanism from ICE, uh, which they call the Compact Flat Twist Fold. The handlebars have secure index clamps to allow you to push the handlebars up after you fold them down uh, to the exact same position that they were at. The most basic configuration of the Adventure starts at $31.99, and that's, you know, rigid frame, 20 inch wheels all the way around. But again, you can mix and match all these features. For example, this one has a 26 inch rear wheel and a full suspension. You can get just rear suspension if you want, no suspension at all, or just front suspension, as well as uh, seats. There are different types of seats, just the standard Ergo Mesh or the Ergo Lux seat that you see here. So if you're looking for a great commuting and touring trike, the Adventure is definitely a good choice. I'm gonna show you how to fold it, and then we'll take it over to Lewis. Folding the ice is pretty easy. They even show you a little diagram back here on the back of the seat, what it's supposed to look like. So, first step, we're gonna take off the seat. And that is done by loosening this quick release here. And two clamps at the bottom of the seat. And the whole thing will come right off. So we'll set this to the side. Next, we're gonna fold our handlebars down. And here you can see the secure index clamp that'll hold your position there. Keep the handlebars from moving around on you. So we'll fold these back. Out of the way. And then do our main frame hinge quick release. And you'll need to pull up on it to release a safety. Thanks, Lewis. And there you have it. So yeah, pretty easy to fold. Um, so now we'll take you over to Lewis and we'll talk about some upgrades. Lewis? Lois? You seen Lewis? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't know where Lewis went, so. You're just gonna follow me around all day? Hey, I found Lewis. Lewis, where were you? Getting coffee. Of course. Hey guys, Lewis from Utah Trikes. Today we're talking about something awesome, and it's not this forgotten, not gone, sweet pedal car that we're working on. No, 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 no. Today it's the Ice Adventure and the upgrades that we offer. So let's get started. Um, so this one is pretty souped up. It's got front suspension, rear suspension, Sermi Archer drum brakes, 
We have mirror mounts and mirrors on both sides. Uh, right here we have the ice bottle cage riser. Just lifts up your bottle cage and makes it easier to pull out your water bottle. Up on the front we have the ice chain ring guard. Just bolts onto your bottom bracket shell. The ice bolt on uh, light mount right here. And to work with the chain ring guard, we did make some little spacers just to bring it out. So this one we actually went with the Lasco 152 millimeter crank set. Because he wanted the shorter crank arm, so we got that all set up. Power grip pedals. My phone's ringing. Okay, someone got it already. This has the ice headrest. ICE also does offer wrist rests that will clamp on right here, just so you can rest your hand on there. Let's see, the ICE Adventure does have folding capabilities. ICE is indirect steering. This also has a V-brake, rim brake on the back. Okay, so those are just a few upgrades featured on this particular ice adventure. But uh, stuff like the chain ring guard, the front headlight mount, these mirror mounts, those are all from ice. They also offer fenders, pannier racks, wrist rests, um, all kinds of stuff like that. Ice also does offer the Shimano Steps motor. The Shimano step system is gonna be a mid-drive mounted up on the boom. ICE makes the actual boom with the mount and everything. The Shimano steps motor does not have a throttle. It's only pedal assist and you have three different modes, the eco, standard, and the boost mode. So those are all upgrades that you can get from ICE, but you can always go with a headlight, bottle cage, tail light, mirrors, any safety stuff like that. You can also go from the, dr the drum brakes and upgrade those to disc brakes, being the BB-7 mechanical disc brake. If you wanna go faster, you can go with a skinnier tire. If you want more comfort, you can go with a, a fatter tire. There's all kinds of tires out on the market you can go with. And now let's talk about the motor options that we offer which would be our Bafang motor, which would be a mid-drive mounted up on the front. And then the UT Custom hub motor that we put in the back. Both the Bafang and our hub motor have nine levels of pedal assist and a throttle. One difference, other than the fact that the Bafang would be a mid-drive, the hub motor is a hub motor in the back, is that the hub motor has a reverse feature, which is pretty sweet. Okay, so let's talk about some gearing. We can always switch out your crank sets, go with the 11 or 10 speed cassette in the rear. We also offer NuVinci N380s, N330s, Shimano Alfine 8 speed, or the 14 speed roll off. Those are rear gearing. If you're going internal in the back, you eliminate your rear derailleur and there's just a chain tensioner there to keep in tension on the chain. You're not gonna have your chain moving around in the back. You're not gonna have that derailleur cage hanging down. And there's just less moving parts externally to break, to get caught on stuff and break. On the front end, we offer, like I said, we can switch out your crank sets or we can go with the Schlumpf High Speed or Mountain Drive, FSA Metropolis Patterson, or the pinion drive. So each of those are gonna have different prices, same with the rear gearing. It all depends on what you're looking to get out of the trike, what gear ranges you're looking for, all stuff of that nature. So Dylan has talked about the different wheel size options and suspension options, but the Ice Adventure is just an all around customizable, great trike for touring, commuting, anything even just for going out and riding it's a really awesome trike 
There's a link down in the description below that will take you right to the page on our website where you can play around with the customizer, configurator, and make your own dream ice adventure. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Let us know what you like about the ice, what you don't like, and share the video with your friends. We really appreciate it. Do you want to go ride out in the rain? Me? Yeah. Sure. You do? You do want to go ride? I don't care. Is it really raining outside? No. Nice. I haven't been in any riding shots. So. <gasps> That's true. Really wet. It's gonna be fun. Um, oh, that's another thing I gotta, I gotta remember, no ums.